Launching a startup is a long journey with many difficulties. But it gets easier with a friend. My CTO friend. Hi, and welcome to the CTO Tips. Today we're going to talk about how every developer should document their code. Document their code for two reasons. First of all, for other developers, and maybe for people that are going to use Maybe not the, the, the software in itself, but maybe the API of the software. So two things that might be interesting for you to understand if, is while you are a developer, you're going to write down some line of code. Some of them going to be required, others not. And what is interesting to do is to create an online documentation for developers or an online documentation for technical user and that's there are some tools that allow us to move from the comment of the source code to uh, the uh, to an online tools and that's exactly what I would like to introduce you so first of all there are a bunch of tools like javadoc javadoc is one of the well-known tool that allow us to generate some documentation from source code Gen it's generally speaking it's for other developers you have the same for php doc um, if you are using uh, if you are using another language like um, Python, you have Sphinx, Sphinx, and Doc, which is a tool for Python. So all of them are to generate some source code documentation. Now, if you are talking about API. So API is what allow other developers to connect to our own software. And that's something very important while you are building a startup, a tech startup, it's interesting to allow others to enable and to use our product. Uh, in that case, I highly recommend you to use api.js. api.js is a great one, or you might also want to use, uh, if you are in Python, uh, epy, epydoc is not, uh, is a good one too. Or otherwise, there are a swagger. So double check that your engineer are using swagger. Swagger is another way. It's allow the developer to define the API structure and then generate some doc, document, some, uh, some source code which is the other way, but also help uh, the um, developer to be well structured and the source code to be well structured. So a bit techy top topic today, but important, the documentation are the key of a startup, especially if you want to have more developer in the future. So it's important for you and your team to have this kind of tools embed in your application, in your source code. I hope it was helpful. As usual, uh, I look forward to see you inside my CTO friend to have more tools and, and best practice on how to build a, a tech startup. Bye for now.